Good afternoon, folks. We've got a minor geomagnetic storm that developed today. It's not major, but its source was not what we usually think of when we think of geomagnetic storms, and it helps us to learn about a bigger scale. The solar wind magnetic field reversal, which we saw this morning, flipped again a few hours ago. This would be the blue panel second from the top, and it tracks the angle of the magnetic field embedded within the solar wind and tracks the evolution of the heliospheric current sheet interplanetary magnetic field or IMF within the sun's current sheet. The back-to-back -back flips ended up causing enough instability in Earth's magnetic field that a minor geomagnetic storm developed this afternoon. No flares, no CMEs, no major enhancement of plasma pressure in the solar wind, just a flip of the solar wind magnetic field. To those who have seen the Enlil spiral, the interplanetary magnetic field curvature is well understood. This top-down view shows the hashed lines threading the planetary planes radially as they go out from the sun. This is a component of every spinning magnetic system, the polar fields coiling north and south, then wrapping around the entire system, but then the central wavy current sheet as well that contains the equatorial fields. This essentially means that every planet in our solar system is subject to a magnetic reversal of the solar wind magnetic field, which at Earth happens every 3 to 10 days, but most often every 5 to 7 days. When it hits the Earth, it delivers a density enhancement of plasma, but only minor. More importantly, it flips the electromagnetic environment surrounding the Earth, which is what happened today. While this was a minor event, the galactic version is not so minor. The galaxy has the polar fields wrapping around as well. It also has the same radially outflowing fields within the equatorial plane of the galaxy. But just like the suns, it's not flat either. It is also within a wavy spiral electric field current sheet containing the interstellar or galactic magnetic reversal point. This is important because that means that it cyclically hits the entire solar system with that extra plasma and magnetic field flip and also with dust from the galaxy, which is much less pervasive here in the inner solar system. But this is exactly what is happening to our solar system now, causing the magnetic shift of the Earth, the changes throughout the solar system, the extra dust being detected from the solar atmosphere out to distances past Pluto, and will eventually trigger the full Earth magnetic flip and the solar micronova. It's a magnetic storm imparted on our entire solar system. Subscribe and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. As always, there are more resources for you to learn more down below. Be safe, everyone.